Hello everyone, welcome back to Pavli. So in this video we are going to understand how to add Facebook lead ads details in Google Sheets and send WhatsApp message via Vati. So I run a digital marketing agency and to promote my agency, I am running some Facebook lead ads. So here in this case I want whenever I receive a new lead through my Facebook lead ad, then automatically that lead detail should be added in my Google Sheets as a new row and after that automatically an instant WhatsApp message should be sent to my lead using Vati. So here to build this connection, I need to connect these applications using an automation software named as Babli Connect. So to learn this process step by step, let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video, we are going to understand how to add Facebook leads details in Google Sheets and send WhatsApp message via Vati. So as I've already mentioned in my introduction that I run a digital marketing agency and here on my screen you can see my Facebook page which I've created with the name Digital Dynamics. And here I'm running some Facebook lead ads to find businesses interested in my services. So here in this case I want whenever someone fills out their details through the ad, I need to make sure that I respond quickly and keep track of all that lead. So by automatically adding their information to my Google Sheets, I can easily organize organize and manage all my leads in one place and at the same time sending an instant whatsapp message through RT lets me engage with them right away whether it's to offer a free consultation share case studies or answer my questions so here to build this connection i need to connect my facebook lead ads with my google sheets and my vati account and here to build this connection i'm going to use an automation software named as public connect so Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software and it connects all your favorite apps and makes them work together seamlessly. You can set it up to do things automatically like updating customer info across platforms or sending notifications when something important happens. It's really easy to use and saves you tons of time that you can spend on more important stuff. Plus, it keeps everything organized and error-free so you can focus on growing your business hustle-free. So this is the homepage of Pabli Connect and you can visit this page by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user so I'm clicking on sign in. Now after signing in here you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to integrate my applications, I am going to use Pabli Connect. Now this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and here to build my connection, I need to create a workflow first. So for that, I am going to click on this create workflow button given on the top right corner. Now here in this create workflow dialog box, I have to give a name to my workflow. So here I'm going to give the name as add Facebook lead ads leads details in Google Sheets and send WhatsApp message via Vati. And here I'm going to select my folder as automations. You can select your folder as per your need. Also you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now here to learn how to create a new folder in Public Connect, you have to click on this learn more link given over here. And by clicking on this, it will take you to a forum window where you can see all the instructions to how to create a new folder in Pabli Connect. So now moving back to my Pabli's dashboard and here to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this create button given over here. Now here in this workflow window, you can see we have successfully created a workflow and here on my screen you can see the two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards a trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up a trigger. So here I'm going to select my trigger application as Facebook lead ads. So Facebook lead ads are a type of advertising format on Facebook that helps businesses collect contact information from people interested in their products or services. They are used to generate leads directly on Facebook without requiring users to leave the platform to fill out a form on a website. When someone clicks on a lead ad, they see a form pre-filled with their Facebook information making it quick and easy for them to submit their details such as name, email address and phone number. Businesses use Facebook lead ads to build their customer base by capturing leads effectively which they can then follow up with through email marketing, sales calls or other communications to convert them into customers. 
It's a convenient way for businesses to reach potential customers and grow their sales directly on Facebook. So here in my Facebook lead ads trigger step, I'm going to select my trigger event as new lead instant. So that whenever I'm going to receive a new lead through my Facebook lead ad, then instantly Pabli Connect is going to capture a response. And now here to connect my Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. But if your Facebook lead ads account is already connected, with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, I'm going to click on this connect with Facebook lead ads. Here I'm going to select my desired account and authorization successful. So here you can see we are now successfully connected. So moving forward and then here it is asking me to select my page and my legion form. So here for this page, I have already shown you that I have my Facebook page with the name Digital Dynamics. So moving back to my Pabli's workflow and here I'm going to select my page as Digital Dynamics. So this is my Facebook page. And now here after selecting my page, here it is asking me to select the Legion form. So here to get this Legion form, let me take you to my Meta Business Suit. And here in my Meta Business Suit, under Lead Ads Form, you can see all the Lead Ads Form which I've created for my use. So you can create your own Lead Ads Form as per your need. And here in this case, I'm going to use my Lead Ads Form which is named as Inquiry Form. So moving back to my Pabli's workflow, and here I'm going to select my Legion Form as Inquiry Form. So here I've selected a single form because I want only the leads of this form should be captured by Pabli Connect. But if you want the leads of all the forms should be captured by Pabli Connect, then you can select all legion forms and now here after selecting my page and my legion form i'm going to click on the save and send test request given over here and here you can see after clicking on the save and send test request here it is waiting for webhook response that means here to receive this webhook response we need to do a test submission and to do a test submission we need to generate a test lead in our facebook lead ad so here to generate a test lead, let me take you to Meta for Developers. So this is the homepage of Meta for Developers and from here I'm going to click on this mode and from here I'm going to select Tools. Now here under this Developer Tools, I'm going to select a tool that is Lead Ads RTO Debug Tool. Now here under this Lead Ads Testing Tool, it is asking me to select my page and my form. So here I'm going to select my page as Digital Dynamics. So this is my page and here I'm going to select my form as inquiry form. And now here to generate a test lead, I'm going to click on this preview form given over here. And now here I'm going to enter dummy data and do a test submission. So here for the first name, I'm going to enter the name as dummy, last name as user, email as dummy at the rate pabletooth.com. Here I'm going to enter a random phone number. And now here after entering all the required data, I'm going to click on this continue and then submit. And here you can see it says your test lead has been sent. So now let's go and check our Pabli's workflow. And here you can see we have successfully received a response over here where we have received the first name, last name, email, phone number and some other details. So with this we have successfully set up our trigger. Now let's move to action step. And here I'm going to select my action application as Google Sheets. So Google Sheets is a free web-based spreadsheet program that allows you to create, edit and share spreadsheets online. It's like having a powerful and flexible digital workbook that you can access from any device with an internet connection. People use Google Sheets because it's super convenient for collaborating with others in real time. Whether you're tracking expenses, creating project plans, analyzing data or working on a group assignment, Google Sheets makes it easy to work together and stay organized. Plus, it integrates seamlessly with other Google apps like Google Drive and Google Forms, making it a go-to tool for a personal and professional use. So here in my Google Sheets action step, I'm going to select my action event as add a new row. So that whenever I'm going to receive a new lead in my Facebook lead ad, then automatically the details of that lead should be added in my Google Sheets as a new row. And now here to connect my Google Sheets with Pabli Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Again here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your Google Sheets account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, I'm going to click on this sign in with Google. Here I'm going to select my desired account. And here I'm going to click on this allow and give access to Pabli as your data is secured with Pabli. Authorization successful. 
and here you can see we are now successfully connected so moving forward and then here it is asking me to select my spreadsheet so here i've already shown you that i have created my spreadsheet with the name leads data so moving back to my pabli's workflow and here i'm going to select my spreadsheet as leads data and now here after selecting the spreadsheet here it is asking me to select the sheet so here i'm going to select the sheet as sheet 1 and then here it is asking me for a full name phone number and email so basically these are the fields which i've entered in my google sheets so moving back to my pabli's workflow and here instead of entering these details manually here i'm going to map the data mapping data means insert data from previous step that means here i'm going to map the data from the response i've received in my trigger step mapping makes a text dynamic so that whenever we are going to receive a new lead through our facebook lead ad then automatically this previously existing detail will be updated with the new one so here i'm going to map my leads full name so for that i'm going to select the first name space last name here i'm going to map my leads phone number And lastly here I'm going to map my leads email. And now here after entering all the required data, I'm going to click on the save and send this request given over here. And here you can see we have received a successful response that means we have successfully added the new detail in our Google Sheets row. So now let's go and check it. And here you can see we have successfully received a response over here where we have received the full name as dummy user, a random phone number and email as dummy@pablidudes.com. So with this we have successfully set up this action step. Now let's move to another action step by clicking on this add action step button given over here. And now here in this action step I'm going to select my action application as Vati. So Vati is a tool that helps businesses manage customer interactions via WhatsApp. It makes it easy to send and receive messages, set up automated replies and handle customer support through WhatsApp's popular messaging app. People use Vati because it streamlines communication with customers, allowing businesses to provide quick and personalized service, manage inquiries efficiently, and engage with their audience effectively. It's especially useful for companies looking to leverage WhatsApp for customer service and marketing in a simple, organized way. So here in my Vati action step, I'm going to select my action event as Send Template Message. so that whenever i'm going to receive a new lead through my facebook lead ad then automatically that lead details is going to be added in my google sheet as a new row and after that automatically and instantly a whatsapp message should be sent to that lead using vati and now here to connect my vati with pabli connect here i'm going to click on this connect again here to build a new connection i'm going to select add new connection if your vati account is already connected with pabli connect then you can click on select existing connection and now here to build a new connection it is asking me for a api and point and access token so here following the instructions given below which says navigate to top on your vati dashboard click on hamburger icon then click on api docs to find your api end point and it says same for the access token so here to get both of these details let me take you to my vati account so this is my vati account and here you can see all the templates which i have created for my use so from here we are going to click on this api docs given over here And here under API Docs, you can see we have received the access token and API endpoint. So here we are going to copy both of the details and paste in our Pabli's workflow. So here I've successfully entered both the details, and now I'm going to click on the Save given over here. And here you can see we are now successfully connected. So now moving forward, and then here it is asking me to enter the WhatsApp number. That means here I need to enter the WhatsApp number to whom I want to send this WhatsApp message. So here again I'm going to map my leads phone number. So this is my leads phone number. Moving forward, and then here it is asking me to select the template. That means here I need to select the template which I have created using Vati. So here in this drop-down menu, you can see all the templates which I have created in my Vati account till now. So here to select my desired template, let me take you to my Vati account. So here in my Vati account, you can see all the templates which I have created for my use till now. So here in this case, we are going to use a template which is named as Digital Dynamics. So let me show you this template first. And here you can see the template which I have created, which says, "Hi, name. Thank you for showing interest in our digital marketing service through Facebook. We are excited to help your business grow. Let's schedule a free consultation to discuss how we can boost your online presence and achieve your goals. Feel free to reply here, or you can book a time by directly calling us at this number. Looking forward to connecting with you. Best regards, Digital Dynamics." So here you can see I have used a variable in the place of name because I want whenever I'm going to receive a new lead through my Facebook lead ad then automatically this previously existing lead name should be updated with the new one. 
Variables makes our text dynamic and you can add multiple variables in your draft. So now moving back to my Pavli's workflow. And here for the template, I'm going to select my template as digital dynamics. So now moving forward and then here it is asking me to enter the broadcast name. So here I'm going to enter my broadcast name similar as digital dynamics. But you can add this broadcast name as per your need. And now here after entering this broadcast name, here it is asking me for a custom params. So here in the instruction it says provide params in comma separated object which will be used in this template message. That means basically here I need to enter the name and the value of my variable which I have used in my template message. So here you can see in the example we have received a format to enter this custom params. So here I'm going to copy this format and here I'm going to paste it over here. And here as I've already shown you that I have used a single variable in my template. So here we are going to customize our param for the single variable only. So here for the name we are going to enter the name as name only because we have named our variable as name. And here for the value we are going to map the value of our name. So here we are going to map our lead's name. So for that I'm going to select the first name first space last name. So with this, we have successfully updated our custom params. And now here after entering all the required data, I'm going to click on the save and send test request. But here before clicking on the save and send test request, I'm going to replace this dummy user number with my original number so that I can receive a WhatsApp message over here. So here I've successfully entered my WhatsApp number and now I'm going to click on the save and send test request given over here. And here you can see we have received a successful response that means we have successfully sent a WhatsApp message on my own number. So now let's go and check it. And here you can see we have successfully received a WhatsApp message over here which says hi dummy user with the same message body which says thank you for showing interest in our digital marketing services through Facebook. We are excited to help your business grow. Let's schedule a free consultation to discuss how we can boost your online presence and achieve your goals. Feel free to reply here or you can book a time directly by calling us at this number. Looking forward to connecting with you. Best regards Digital Dynamics. So this was the message which we have received and with this we have successfully set up our automation. Now let's test our automation with a real time example to check whether it is working or not. So to test our automation we need to create another test lead in our Facebook lead ads. And for that let me take you back to my lead ads testing tool. So here in my lead ads testing tool I need to delete my previous lead in order to create a new one. Because it says you can create one lead per form you will need to delete an existing lead in order to create a new one. So here to delete my previous lead I am going to click on this delete lead button given over here. And now I am going to refresh my window and that's a necessary step. And now here you can see it is asking me to select my page and my form again. So here I am going to select my page as digital dynamics and my form as inquiry form. And now here to generate another test lead I am going to click on this preview form given over here. And now here I'm going to enter a dummy data and do a test submission. So here for the first name I'm going to enter the name as demo, last name as user, email as demo at the rate publitudes.com. And here for the phone number I'm going to enter my own phone number so that I can receive a WhatsApp message over here. So here I've successfully entered my own WhatsApp number and now I'm going to click on this continue and then submit. And here you can see it says your test lead has been sent. So now let's go and check our Google Sheets first. And here you can see we have successfully received a new detail over here with the full name as demo user, phone number as my own phone number and email as demo at the readpublitudes.com. So now let's go and check our WhatsApp. And here you can see we have successfully received a new WhatsApp message over here with the name demo user and the same message body. So with this we have successfully tested our automation. Now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken a trigger as Facebook lead ads and our action as Google Sheets and Marty. So that whenever we are going to receive a new lead through our Facebook lead ad then automatically that lead details will be added in our Google Sheets as a new row and after that automatically an instant WhatsApp message will be sent to that lead using Wati. And now if you want to use the same workflow then you can find the clone link in the description box below. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt you can contact us on support at zaritpabli.com. If you have any query you can contact us on forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue then you can contact us on www.pabli.com. If you liked the video please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.